Hello and welcome to a new Brave Frontier video. Today we're talking about the Brave Halloween 2019 events. As there's a lot to uncover here, so why don't we just dive right on, right on into it. So first off, we have a giveaway. Where it seems every other day, kind of, sort of, you get some of the trigger skulls, which are used in the event bazaar. Which you'll see all, starting on the 23rd most likely, as this is when everything kicks off. And, as you can see, each time you log in, you get more and more skulls. For a grand total of 1,500 trigger skulls for logging in on each of these days. You don't need to log in on the days in between, just on these days in particular. And you're going to want a lot of skulls, but it's not really necessary, but we're, we will get more into that here in just a bit. Because uh, there are plenty of sugar skulls to go around, like, you do not need to worry too much. So first off, there are like three different dungeons just for this year's Halloween stuff. Um, each one focuses around Lydia and Yin Yin, two units who come out for Halloween. We will probably see Lydia come out on the 23rd with a gym summon gate for both Lydia and Florence with a chance to get Yin Yin, much like how we got a chance to get Heishka and Krista from their respective gym gates. Um, let's see. Not a whole lot is really said about Candy Crash here. It seems like it's just like the overarching thing for Lydia's sets of dungeons. And there's a lot to go on here. So first off, we have the Azakar Abbey, which it's probably just like the main story of the whole deal. You get in total for this uh, 450 sugar, scar sugar skulls for going through all of these, as well as two gins. All of these quests cost 10 energy, so it's not too expensive to do. And that's actually very nice because you can either farm this or you really don't need to. We'll get into why here just again really soon. Next up is the Cadavera City. Uh, okay, Azakar Abbey starts on the 24th and ends on the 13th of November. 24th of October ends 13th of November. Cadavera City starts on Halloween, October 31st, and ends on November 13th. And we have a fair few quests here. Okay, not all of these cost 10. It seems like once we get to Winner Takes All, it goes up more and more, but there's a reason for that. Um, this is probably going to be the one that you want to grind out as you get 30 sugar skulls. Though again, no need to. Really, there's no need to. Um, in total for doing all this, if you do this once each, that is 3,580 sugar skulls. As well as, what is that? One, two, three gems. And a Plague Warden Theodore. Who I'm doing a unit overview on soon after the 23rd. Probably on the 24th, if I had, no, it'll be on the 25th. I'm busy this week. So yeah, you can grind this out if you really want to. But the reason why you don't need to is the Spooky Paradise, which starts on the 24th and lasts through the 13th. And the way this seems to work is there is a base mission, Abandoned Alleyway, and then there are two branching paths you can take. Uh, each one of these quests costs 10 energy to do. And you get 700 trigger skulls if you go through uh, one branch. And I, think, I think you can only do one branch per day. So you're going to want to make sure you do both paths so you can get... Actually, it doesn't matter. Because the only one with a gym reward is the first one. It's just a matter of flavor of what you want to do. Per day, you get 2,100 sugar skulls. And we were getting to how many sugar scrolls you need for everything that seems to be worthwhile for uh, the event bazaar, which we will get into here in just a moment. I'm not going to go over the Elgiths, as you guys can do that. The information is right here. The information will also be on the Brave Frontier wiki when these Elgiths come out. But let's move on to the bazaar. Now, I'm taking into, into account getting... Earth and Fortitude, Earthbound Hex, the Xenon Alternate Art, and one Yin Yin. You need, in total, 12,000 tokens. Now, it may sound like, sound like a whole lot, but I want to point out, you get 2,100 a day. And I do the math. If you do just the daily dungeons, 
You just need to do it for six days. That's it. That's not taking into account the login scrolls. That's taking into account if you do anything else. It is just strictly doing the daily dungeon. You get 2100, six days, enough tokens for all of this. With, let's assume you do everything else once each. So everything once in Essekar Abbey. Once of everything in Calavera City. And you get the 1500 scrolls for logging in. And you want to wait until the last day. That's three days of doing the daily dungeon. And you get everything here. Well, everything worthwhile. If you want, you can get a second yin yin. It's another thousand. You can get a Theodore and another hundred, another five hundred. That's just, that's literally less than one day of the um, daily dungeon. So yeah, it's super easy to get probably everything here. Seeing as again, six days for everything with just the dungeon by itself, and everything else is fairly cheap otherwise. So you can easily clear this out even if you are a newer player. Though that is to be seen as again I'll be doing videos as per usual on the dungeons as they come out. But that's not all that we have in store for this Halloween. We also have last year's Halloween dungeon come back, which I will also do a video on this. It may not be as perfect as it should be as I'm probably going to, get, going to need to make a note as to how to do this as there are certain there's a certain way that the quests open up in a certain order. I forgot what it was. I'm gonna have to relearn that and all that fun stuff. But uh, the main point of doing this is to get all these um, materials you see here. It seems like you can probably. Oh, wait. Yeah, because these are just first clear rewards. And all these rewards drop uh, um, at, probably at random if I, had to, if I had to hazard, I guess. Um, that's a fair few. Prismatic Crystallites and Numis Solvents. But in order for all these to actually be worthwhile, you need to actually clear the Master Bedroom to get the Vellum of Curses, as all those materials go into taking the Vellum of Curses and making it better and better to the Salvation, Radiance, and that's it. The Vellum of Radiance is a, I believe, a 7 star sphere that is used to give Theodore and Florence their extra. Well, the one part of the extra skill they're missing without it. It's not really all that important for either one, but you'll find out more about that when I do overviews for both of them this week. And that really about does it. Um, again, it, it, it's super. E this is a super easy event bazaar to clear out. Again, you can get all this no problem. So don't worry too much. As long as you don't even need the Omni Union or the Lydia to get more tokens, as you get plenty as is. But with that, that does it for me for today. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.